Welcome back. It's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Guys, we have a problem on our hands. We have dead, dead plants. I mean, look at this. Absolutely disgusting. I want to first apologize to you guys. It's been close to a month, maybe a little over a month, that I've posted a video. You might ask, why? Why are you doing this to us, Mike? We as a growing community, we want to be motivated on growing. We want to grow our own food and you're here killing food. It's not true guys and I do apologize about that. Um, basically all I have to say is I've had a lot going on. Um, a lot of work, family, birthday celebration. I just had my 36th birthday. A um, lot been going on and literally I just turned the pumps off. I turned the lights off. This has been sitting here probably since my last video. I just said, you know what, enough's enough. And I want to apologize about that. I'm sorry. We're going to start over. This tent is getting a complete reno, okay? I'm going to be clearing everything out, putting fresh plants in. Next, I have another tent that's already purchased. I'm going to be doing an upcoming video of me just showing how I'm going to set that tent up. And that's going to be a cool one. I'm going to kind of like speed it up. It's going to be fun. Next. I'm going to be growing all the stuff that I told you guys about that, I'm going to, that I was previously thinking about doing. I'm going to grow that indoor watermelon. We're going to be growing more or less. We're going to be doing a lot of crazy things. If you guys have anything in mind, just let me know. What do you want to see? You know, what kind of detail do you guys want me to go into in depth? I just got to get back into this. Basically, once this happens, it's a it's a big bummer trying to like kind of like get back into the realm of things and kind of get going. It really takes a takes a lot of time out of you when you have to germinate everything, when you have to put everything in, when you have to put all the water into each tub and maintain everything. It's a lot of it's it, having this many buckets of food. You you don't re you don't really realize how much time it actually takes. And it takes a whole lot of time. And that's what actually made me kind of put a hold on things because I was like, wow, I was like, I, I don't have time for this. I don't even have time to look into this thing, to open up the tent and enjoy the things that I actually enjoyed at one point, like just seeing the flourishing flowers. I love that. And I'm jumping back into that. Okay, it's only been a month, so I'm not going to slap myself across the face or on the wrist. It's just a quick, you know, alert. Hey. Let's get back into this. The viewers want to see it. Everybody wants to be motivated and everybody wants to com continue learning on how to grow indoors 365 days a year. That's what this channel is all about. Um, make sure you look back at my old videos. You know, I grew broccoli, I grew lettuce. Everything is hydroponic. Now, I am going to grow in the new tent I already have the light. I can't wait to show you guys a setup. It's this crazy light, huge, huge light. I mean, it's it's an incredible setup. I'm not gonna have the multi-tier in the second tent. I'm not even sure where I'm putting the second tent. I certainly don't want it like in uh, like my 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 ground floor of my house. I do have a basement. It's possible that I'm gonna be throwing it down there. I just don't want it to get too humid. I gotta figure it out with fans and everything like that. But um, that's the story right now. Um, <laughs> when I look at these things, I'm like scared to even open it up in here. Oh, look at these poor, poor roots, you know, and honestly, when you leave it like this, it's a pain in the butt because cleaning it at this stage is a lot harder than cleaning it when things are a little softer, a little mushier because, um, you know, these net cups get all jacked up and unfortunately I bought these net cups that did not have this like special lip on them, basically... The, the special lip, this lip was way too small, so sometimes when the plant gets a little too, uh, gets a little too heavy, these could go in, and it, it's annoying, okay, because they fall in. You need these uh, net cups to have a decent lip when they're fitting, I forget, is this a two inch, or one and a half? Basically, they have to fit this perimeter real nicely and catch onto the side so it doesn't fall. Ugh. God, I destroyed these. I got, and you know, I think they start to smell. They're like, you know, not as much as I thought they did. But look at this. Look at this one right here. It's the, the, the pop. Oh God, look what just happened. All right, 
The entire pot just fell inside of that piece, left me with a plant and a um, and a rock wool with a little bit of a with a little bit of root. I mean, these bottom ones were basically I I set them up to fail. Okay, I set those up to fail because I wasn't feeding them in time. This things just started getting busier and busier, and I just let them die. I'm sorry, plants. Won't happen again. Alright guys, I appreciate your time. I hope you all have an, an amazing Memorial Day weekend. You know, to some it's a celebration, to some it's uh, to honor the people that went into battle. Alright, so uh, make sure you're safe. I hope you uh, enjoy the weekend. And I will see you guys soon in the next uh, probably couple of days with some new videos. I'm going to be germinating. I'm going to be videoing. I'm going to show you everything that I'm doing. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, and I'll see you guys on the next one.